In this problem, uh, we've got a binomial expansion of 1 plus 5x to the n, where n is greater than or equal to 3. The coefficient of x cubed is the difference between 32 times the coefficient of x squared and 95 times the coefficient of x. Find the value of n. OK, so uh, with the two previous examples, we've had 1 plus x to the n. This time we've got 1 plus 5x to the n, so we've got to be a little bit more careful. So the coefficient is not just going to be made up of the NCR, because we've got 1 to the power of something and 5x to the power of something. OK, so if this is the power of R, that's the power of N minus R, and we can have N choose R. So not only do we have the N choose R, that's just going to be 1, but we've got the 5 to the R as well. OK, so if we want the coefficient of x cubed, that will be N choose 3 times by, because that's r is 3, 5 cubed. So times by 5 cubed. So that is the difference between 32 times the coefficient of x squared, which will be n choose 2, times by 5 squared. Um, so the difference between, so subtract... 95 times the coefficient of x. So 95 times n choose 1 times 5 to the 1. So this is the equation. That's the setup. Right. So, first thing I could do, I could divide through by 5 first. Um, I think I'm going to leave it just for the moment. I'm going to leave that for the moment. So let's deal with this first. So we've got the 5 cubes, 125. So we've got 125 n factorial over 3 factorial n take away 3 factorial is going to be equal to. So we've got the 32 times 5 squared, so 25, is 800. So 800 n factorial over 2 factorial n take away 2 factorial then take away 95 times 5, so 475 n factorial over uh, 1 factorial n minus 1 factorial. Right, so just as we've done in all the other examples, we can divide through by the n factorial and I can simplify the fractions. So we've got 125 divided by 3 factorial is 125 over 6, so 125 over 6 lots of n take away 3 factorial is equal to 800 divided by 2, so 400 over n take away 2 factorial, take away 475 over n minus 1 factorial. Right, OK, next up. Multiply through by the largest factorial, which is the n minus 1 factorial. So we're going to get 125 n minus 1 factorial over 6 lots of n take away 3 factorial is equal to 400 n minus 1 factorial over n minus 2 factorial. Uh, take away 475. Okay. So n minus 1 factorial is n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 factorial. So the n minus 3 factorials will cancel. So I'll write it out. 125 n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 factorial over 6 lots of n take away 3 factorial. So they're gone. Equals 400 n minus 1, n minus 2 factorial over n minus 2 factorial, so they're gone, and take away 475. Right, so we have 125 n minus 1, n minus 2, over 6 is equal to 400 n minus 1, take away 475. Right. Now I can multiply through by the 6. Um, I could also divide through by the 5 as well. So if I do that in one go, mm, I mean, I could multiply through by 6 fifths. 
Let's just multiply through by the 6. Don't want to do too many things at once. Right. 6 lots of 400 uh, is 2,400. Then we've got 6 lots of 475, which is 2,850. Okay. Now I want to expand this out. So we're going to get 125 n squared. Then we've got 3 lots of 125, so 375. So take away 375 n. Then 2 lots of 250, 2 lots of 125 is 250. We've got 2,400 n, take away 2,400, take away 2,850. Right, so that's 125 n squared. We've got the minus 375 n, take away 2,400 n is minus 2,775 n. We've got the 250 add the 2,400, add the 2,850, gets us 5,550 equals zero. Right. Now I can definitely divide um, through by 25 at least. Yeah, I can divide through by 25. So I can get 5n squared, take away 2,750 divided by 25 is 111. And then 5,500 divided by 25 is 220. So then I'm going to pop this quadratic into my quadratic solver. I mean, I could have done it straight from there, I know, but... Uh, Point is that you might have got here through other means, okay? Other cancellations. So I'm getting n is 20 or n is 11 fifths. Right? Well, n can't be equal to 11 fifths, okay? Because n has to be a whole number. And we also know n has got to be greater than or equal to 3. Okay? So n equals 20 solves this problem.